praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify you, we magnify you, we magnify you. God bless you. You may be seated. We are, at this time, are going to turn our service over to the real stars this morning. And as they're coming, let me just say, I know that it's going to be great speaking by faith. I've seen it about three times myself already. Uh, if, you'll, if you're sitting next or near a parent whose child is in this, you'll probably see them singing the songs along because we've all heard the CD 5,000 times. And so, uh, but these, it, it, it's one of those things where it goes and it, and it happens and everybody talks about how great it is, but we don't realize that these kids have been working on this program since about September, October. And uh, you know, they've been working really, really hard and they're very excited and they're happy that you're here. So we want you to enjoy this morning a tree lot Christmas. It was the week before Christmas and all through the town, last minute shoppers were running around. But things were too quiet at Carmichael's store. He was grumpy and greedy for he wanted more. So out on the lot, we were selling our trees. To bring in more shoppers was part of his scheme. So come buy our trees so we can buy toys to give to the needy and spread Christmas joy. Welcome Jesse's Trees, Evergreens for sale. Remember, every penny we'll make will buy a gift for our special friends.
go, this tree's a beauty. She's gonna light up someone's living room real nice. Oh my, that tree is gorgeous. It's perfect, Coco, don't you think? Woof. It looks stunning in my foyer. I'm woof, sure woof. it will. What a cute puppy. That'll be $25, ma'am. Here's $30 and keep the change. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jacob, and your family for donating all these trees for us to sell. You're welcome. Dad said he's happy he could help out. I mean, what a great cause to share the Christmas message and to bless those among us who are less fortunate. We wouldn't think of taking any money. Mr. Carmichael, will you be coming to... Um, thank you for donating. My lots. I said you can use my lots to sell your trees and then you can purchase all your gifts from me tonight. Right at my store, no need to go anywhere else. Thank you. Mr. Carmichael, have you picked out a Christmas tree yet? No, no, I don't need. Well then, pick one out, no charge. Yeah, it's our way, it's our way, it's our way. God bless you. Thank you, Jacob. Anyway, Mr. Carmichael, it's our way of saying thank you for donating. My lots, just my lots. And no thanks for the trees, Christmas trees remind me of family trees. What's the matter with that? It doesn't matter, it's just me now, and it's perfect. A family of one. tight. Thank you, I mean, don't get shame, Jacob. If you've got a cold, young lady, keep your distance. This is no time for me to be getting sick. Cha-ching, cha-ching, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Dad said to tell you that the whole family is coming to the pageant tonight. Every member of the Jesse household will be there. My mom's coming tonight. She's missed the school program because she had to wait. But she's coming tonight. She's going to be so surprised when she finds out I'm married. Mr. Carmichael, will you become Tower Major pageant? Oh, please come. I'm married. No, no. I'll be too busy at the store. Money doesn't grow on trees, kids. I got to go back to the store. That's so sad, Mr. Carmichael doesn't want a Christmas tree. And he doesn't have a family? Who doesn't have a family? It's too bad he's not coming tonight. He can hear how he can be in God's family. And yes, that's the good news of Christmas. Because we're Jesus, we can all be a part of the family of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every day I love you more. Thank you, Jesus, that my name's been added to your family tree. I'm a part of God's great big family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every day I love you more. Thank you, Jesus, that my name's been added to your family tree. I'm a part of God's great big family. You can read the Matthews, Jesus, genealogy.
tip when I saw him pick up a tree with one hand. <laughs> <You're crazy. laughs> oh my, with this money we have enough to make three little girls very happy. I need an Elsa doll, an Elsa costume, and an Elsa backpack. I'll go get those four. Oh, Elsa's my favorite. Let it go, let it go. Enough of the song, girls. Let it go, please. Give me the money, let it go. Dios te abedica. Gracias, Jacob. Here's the money, Mr. Carmichael. Thank God I got tons of hand sanitizer in the store. I really hope we sell enough trees and get all those gifts. Oh, I almost forgot. How's the bake sale going, girls? It's going great. We've got gluten-free, sugar-free, fat-free, and peanut-free. Sounds like Anyway, about five minutes ago, a guy walked in and started something. He said it was called Pay It Forward. What's that mean? Well, he wanted to pay for the person's food behind him as a gift. And now that's what everyone's doing. Anybody else want a sweet treat? It's already been paid for. Really? Yeah, you want to keep it going and pay it forward? Sure, this should cover it. Come on, boogie! Elsa merchandise. I made a fortune off the movie. Thank you, Mickey. Mr. Carmichael, you've been working so hard. Aren't you kind of hungry? Have a sweet, yummy treat. Anything else you want to buy for me? Yes. Dios te bendiga. Grazie, Jacob. I support some more. Here's the cash room. And Abigail, have you ever thought that maybe you're allergic to evergreens? I'm beginning to think so. Anyway, Mr. Carmichael, we sold three more trees, so can I get a baseball, a football, and a soccer ball? Money, please. Mr. Carmichael, you look so hungry. Don't you think you need a treat? No, no. I only eat gluten-free, sugar-free, and fat-free food. Perfect! You can have our fruit cake. How much for the fruit cake? Oh, it's already paid for. What? It's a gift, Mr. Carmichael. Don't you get it? Somebody paid it forward. Well, that's just ludicrous, people. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. Here you go. Here's your gluten, sugar, fat-free fruitcake. Enjoy, Mr. Carmichael. Are you sure you don't want to come tonight? No, no. That manger scene keeps showing up every Christmas, and I can't make no money off of it. 
Anyways, I'll be too busy at the store. Merry, thank you, and Merry Christmas. Oh, so be politically correct, young lady. It's Happy Holidays. We don't want to offend our customers, or they won't come and buy from us. Offending our customers? What about offending God? I guess he doesn't know that Christmas is all about Jesus and his birth in the manger. We gotta keep Christ in Christmas. After all, we're celebrating his birthday. $32. Good. Now we can get the Legos and the pink tricycle. Luke, would you run and tell Mr. Carmichael? Sure, Legos and a tricycle. A pink tricycle. I'm not carrying around a pink tricycle. Pardon me, can you assist me, please? At your service, what may I do for you? Have you any Douglas or Hemlock furs? I unloaded some this morning. Whoa, this way! <laughs> There you are, Jacob. I've been wondering where you went. I've been tying trees to trunks. It's been a busy day. Hey, I have a question about Christmas trees. Why do we decorate them anyway? I can answer that one. My family's been growing evergreens for three generations. First of all, evergreens are the only trees that stay green all year long. It reminds me of the everlasting life we can have in Jesus. The tree points up to heaven, and that's why we put the star on top. And if you decorate a tree like my family does, you can put orna ornaments on it that remind you of the events in the Bible that happened from creation to Christ's birth. Oh, and one more thing. We hang our Jesse tree upside down. What? Upside down? Why would you do that? Because it points down, and Jesus came to earth for us. And like my dad always says, our Christmas gift was not under a tree, but on a tree. Hey, I just thought of something. Jesus paid it forward for us. I like that. Yes, Jesus did pay it forward for us. Hey, I know a song about a Christmas tree. I know that one too. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. I can top that. Hit it, boy.
Carly here. That's me. I'm Carly. Carly, you know the one that's going to play Mary. Well, your mother just called on my private cell phone. She did. She's coming to see me, be. Well, she's going to be late. Something down at the city hall needed her attention. What? I don't take messages. Not again. Oh, Carly, I'm sure your mom will make it. I'll be sweet, Abigail. Ho, ho, ho. Merci, Jacob. Anyway, Carly, if your mom doesn't make it, I'm sure Mr. Carmichael can video it. What? I never agree to do that. Anyways, I'll be too busy at the store. You know what I say. Money, Money doesn't, doesn't grow on trees, kids. Any more toys? I don't think she's allergic to Evergreen. I think she's allergic to Mr. Evergreedy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carmichael, I have a question. You have a very unusual kimono. What's it called? Oh, you like? I've worn it for years. It's called Mula Amor. <laughs> well, there it is, Mula Amor. <laughs> Any more toys? Yes, we have just enough for the Ken and Barbie Deluxe Christmas Cottage and the Hot Wheels Racing Car. Then that's it. We're done. Every child on the list will be getting a gift tonight. Woohoo! Money, please. We need to finish up wrapping these presents. Addison, can you help me? Sure. I can't wait to see the children's faces when they get their gifts tonight. It feels so good to give, doesn't it? Yeah. 
everybody, it's almost time for the major pageant. And here comes our special friends. And the police. Is there Mr. Carmichael here? That would be me, and what is this all about? Sir, you have to use this lot with a proper permit, and I'm afraid you don't have one. What? what? I have my orders. No. no! I've never heard such a thing. You heard me. Pack it up, kids. No! no! I have my orders. No! Wh wait! Mommy, you made it, but now there's no pageant. Oh. I would have been here sooner, but while I was at work today, I overheard that they were going to shut you down, Mr. Carmichael. They can't shut me down the weekend before Christmas. You heard me. I have my order. Now wait a minute. Look, I have your permit. While I was at work today, I pulled some strings, and Mr. Carmichael, you're back in business. Yay! Yay! I'll be the judge of that. Well, it's clear. Y'all are back in business. Yay! Yay! Mommy, you paid it for for Mr. Carmichael. Why, yes, you did. And why would you do such a thing? Because that's what Christmas is all about, loving one another like Jesus loves us. Mr. Carmichael, did I mention I was playing Mary in the pageant? You are. Yes, Mama. Oh, I got to run a wardrobe.
Well, that was, how you say, very moving. I'd like to know more about this baby. He's not a baby anymore. He's the savior of the world, Lord of all. Why, yes, and I'd like to know more. It's simple. God's only son, Jesus, paid it for with his very life. We just have to accept this free gift. And then he got to be part of the family of God, too. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Carmichael, you might want that Christmas tree after all. Dude, it's a free gift. Why, yes, and to show my appreciation to all of you, my new family, go pick out a free gift on me. Really? Yes, and Merry Christmas, everyone.